name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a targeted individual. I'm having a serious hard time uh, recording a video on my phone or on my computer and sending them to YouTube. For some reason, it's not letting me do that now, so I'm trying to do it with this one. Uh, this very nice person, nice woman, sent me a little secret video camera that you can put in your pocket and hide. It records to a little thing, a little chip, and you can load it to your computer, and so I'm trying it. Uh, they served us notice of termination yesterday, and uh, it's a 10 day get out or we're going to take you to court and file holdover proceedings against you. Notice, and Petra and I have been fighting ever since. Me, because I'm a wreck. I'm a wreck. They're, they're torturing me horribly. I mean, I can barely... You know, when I have a place to live, I can barely function, go to my medical thing, get my medicine, come home, get some food, come home, crawl into bed, put the covers over my head, shake a lot, moan a lot, you know, fear a lot, pray a lot. Uh, that's what my day is like. I can barely, you know, there's times where I can barely do anything. And... I'm so afraid we're going to fucking end up with the marshal coming to the door, locking the, padlocking, you know, taking all our shit, and we'll be out in the fucking street, homeless, cold, without our stuff, and fucked. I'm really not looking forward to that. And Patriot's like, no, don't worry about it, we've got all this time, we can do it, this guy wants use and occupancy, and in a holdover, there is no defense for that, you know? Um... It's months and months of $1,500 a month. We can't fucking pay that. I don't understand what the fuck she thinks. I, I need to talk to an attorney. Uh, somebody who knows something about holdover proceedings. Um, and we gotta find a place to live. We've been trying and trying and trying. You know, but we haven't been able to find one. And I'm really afraid that we won't be able to. You know? Like, we won't even be able to live in a storage locker or some bullshit. I mean, what kind of craziness is this, man? You know, and everybody's like, yeah, move over here, move over there, move over there. I can't just drop everything and leave. I, I, you know, it, maybe when I'm homeless, it'll be a little bit easier. I'll find a place for my medication. You know, I'm on a freaking medication that I have to take every day, and they won't give it to me by the month. They give it to me once a day. So I go and I get it, and I take it, and I leave. You know, I have to do that or I will have seizures and die. Um, it's where it's at. So I'm like handcuffed, you know, to this place. And I know I'm ranting, but fuck, you know, I've had to take these freaking medications because my life has been a living hell and I could not handle it. You know, I was losing it panic attacks and, 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 and I was suffering so much and you know if some fucking stupid arazepam and whatever is gonna fucking help me get through my day fine I got no problem with that even though it's addictive and you can die when you don't have it uh, it's worth it to me you know because I can't exist otherwise and with all this freaking stress and, 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 you know, the inability to sleep, I'm just ranting, I know, you know, I, I can't, I, I don't want to put Petra down, she's so wonderful, she's, without Petra I would be in the street, penniless, you know, dead or incarcerated or whatever. That would probably be better than being in the street. I, I don't know anymore. You know? And if we're both reduced to this I can't function state, then what are we gonna do? We can't... Alright. Shut up, Timothy. Pray. Please pray for us. It, it, 
really does help when other people ask God to please help these people. I do it for people all the time. I know it helps. I've seen it in my life and I've seen it in the lives of others. This world is so fucked up now. My life is so fucked up now. Through no fault of my own. I did the best I could. You can't win against this technology and these people and this evil. You know? God will help you if he wants to. And he has. And I'm grateful. You know, sometimes the, the, I don't know what that is, man. It's like you know, the evil thing inside of me. I get so angry and afraid and oh, yelling and screaming and demanding shit like a fucking two year old and all the while I just wish I could be calm and centered and loving and giving and reassuring and because I know that's what she needs I need to somehow. You know, I'm so divided up inside. These people have cut me all up, divided me all up. I need to somehow separate my trauma and torment and fear and frustration and childlike. <laughs> I need this, I need that. And somehow be braver than, stronger than, calmer than, all of it. And I'm not sure if I even know how to do that. Try to put this video online and see if it even exists. Unless I'm just talking to myself. God bless you all. Thanks.